STORY TIME! Charmander wore her favorite Everstone necklace as she walked down a forest path, her best friend, Bulbasaur, with her. Why do you never want to evolve, Char? Bulbasaur asked. Because I want to stay cute and cuddly forever, she replied. Not me. I want to evolve into the best grass Pokemon, he said. Well, we both have our own opinions. Just then, a bunch of no-good Pokemon jumped in front of them. Hey, what are you doing in our woods? A Zubat asked. Your woods, Charmander repeated. Yeah, this is our turf. Now scram! Marowak smacked Charmander with his bone. Hey, you can't do that to my friend! Bulbasaur shouted. Why you want to hang out with a Charmander who's never gonna evolve? A Mudkip asked. Yeah, you're gonna evolve and be great and she's gonna be a runt slowing you down! Zubat added. You should forget her and come with us. We can make you stronger, Marowak said. Bulbasaur thought about it. Bulby? Charmander said. You're right, she's just gonna hold me back, Bulbasaur said, walking over to join the others. Bulby, no! Charmander said, looking very sad. So I run, he's with us now. <laughs> Mudkip laughed as they walked away. Charmander sat there for a while, tears streaming down her face. After a long time, she looked up, her eyes filled with rage. She had to make those other Pokemon pay for stealing her friend like that. She had to make them suffer. Charmander smiled wickedly as she thought of the perfect way to hurt them. Getting up, she went to her home to prepare. In the morning, Charmander wandered the forest, searching for the group of Pokémon. After many hours of searching, she finally found them. Holding a large wooden stick, she snuck up behind them and knocked them out, even Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur woke up to the sound of a horrid scream. There were body parts around him, and he recognized Marowak's legs amongst the carnage. He let out a scream of his own, getting the attention of his kidnapper. Oh, Bulby, you're finally awake! Now we can get started! He recognized that voice. Charmander? He asked nervously. Yeah, it's me, silly, she said. What is this? Where am I? Charmander giggled. <laughs> this is your punishment, she replied. Punishment? Charmander picked up her favorite knife. You know, Bulby, I wasn't going to do this to you. She cleaned the knife with a rag. But you start making fun of me, my Everstone, never wanting to evolve. So now I have no choice. She walked over to him, holding the knife. Bulbasaur tried to get away, but found that his legs were chained up. He let out a blood-curdling scream as the knife dug into his back, slowly cutting off the plant. When she was finished, she ripped it off, earning another scream. All done! She said, putting the leafy plant on a cart with an assortment of other body parts. Bulbasaur cried as he felt blood dripping down his back. Why are you doing this? He whimpered. I already told you, you hurt me, so you must be punished. Charmander took a syringe and injected him with anesthesia, causing him to fall asleep. When Bulbasaur woke up many hours later, he was strapped to a table. Charmander had a scalpel in her claw, smiling at him evilly. Ready for the harvest, Bulby? She sneered. H harvest She injected him with yet another syringe, this time filled with numbing medicine, which caused his body from the neck down to go completely numb. He screamed, not with pain, but fear when his friend took the scalpel and sliced him open. Pulling back the flaps, she peered at his innards. My, such healthy organs! You will make wonderful Pokepuffs! She cheered, grabbing a bucket. Bulbasaur was too scared to respond. Grabbing his stomach, Charmander sliced the esophagus and the duodenum, and then pulled it out. Bulbasaur could feel himself getting weaker as she continued with the rest of his entrails. Soon, all that was left was his heart and lungs. Goodbye, Bulby. Looks like you won't become the best grass Pokemon after all. She laughed wickedly as she severed the heart and watched the light fade from her dear friend's eyes. <laughs>